just needs a little gentle persuasion. Ziriab very much wanting to get on with it. Pink cap, keen to get out. That's it. All six in. They're ready. Well, they're off. The Dali Novice Stakes Master Chartwell's slowest to get out of the stalls. He gave them a two or three length start. He's got a mile to catch up. And Big Bad Wolf is pulling hard in the early stages. White jacket with the blue and yellow on the sleeves. Most of Sheer the black cap beginning to drift across in front of him. And Carthab the strike cap close up against the running rail. And it's the Shadwell Estate Company pair who lead them out of the back straight. Most of Sheer to Carthab and the free going Big Bad Wolf. New business. Blue and yellow also inclined to take a, a bit of a grip. Not really settling for Sheen Murphy disputing fourth at this stage with Ziriab the pink cap for Rab Havlin and from a sluggish start Master Chartwell is two lengths uh, further back heading towards the top of the straight then and it's Most of Sheer and Will Buick who lead them down towards halfway still big bad wolf bearing his teeth he's tugged his way up into second just ahead of Carthab the strike cap uh, Ziriab out white pink cap getting a little bit closer racing alongside new business Master Chartwell the dark blue and pink remains in rear as they head inside the last three furlongs the pace now just beginning to unwind Most of Sheer pressing on in front big bad wolf second from the left ridden along Long. Carthab on the right now being asked for his effort. Ziriab on the left uh, shaken up and Mostabshir has kicked away on down towards the last furlong. Opened up here. He's gone three, four, five lengths clear. Mostabshir powering away. They're bunching in behind but they're all chasing in vain because the bird has flown here. How impressive is this? Mostabshir has given them weight and given them a thrashing. And it's very close for second between Carthab and Ziriab. Well, that was very impressive for Mustafshire. Um, I'm going to take him on face value in, in future. A wide margin win for John and Goss and William Buick on board, a double for him on the day. Very impressive controlling the race in the front and just running away from the rest of the field. It's close between Ziriab and Kathab for second. Probably Ziriab on the line for Rab Havlin and John and Fady Gosselin, making it a 1-2. Although it is a head bob, let's have a look. Yes. Um, and third was Cathab for Jim Crowley and William Haggis. The gap back to the hard pulling new businesses fourth, Master Chartwell fifth, and that leaves Big Bad Wolf being sixth. Yeah, this is a comp that's still entered in the St James's Palace stakes. Maybe, maybe they will be tilting quite high with him on the back of a really impressive performance. Obviously, the craving didn't happen for him, but that's two really taking novice wins that he's produced now. Um, completely dominant to bear. Mm. I mean, he's. Quickened, so. quickened away in no time, hasn't he? From a, I'd, I'd say a pretty strong field, to be honest, in behind. And he's given them weight and hammered them. Yes. Broke from the outside stall. He was in seven. Obviously, there ended up only being six of them. But he's out towards the outside. Keen and closely attending him is Big Bad Wolf, who runs around a bit and shows his inexperience throughout this field. And um, they've changed the tactics on new, bus new business, this time trying to hold him up. And he hasn't accepted that lead and has pulled for his head. Yeah, he's pulled too hard, hasn't he? He's obviously a... A horse that's expected to be capable of a bit better. He hasn't run too badly, but he still hasn't improved from his, his debut. Kathab maybe hasn't either, although it's difficult to know, really, because we don't know what we're dealing with in, in Mostabshire. Like, the, the Craven was a tough ask first time out. Whatever happened there, he's left it. He, he has left the performance well behind, and I, I think this track has probably suited him a lot better. Yes. Um, he looks a horse with a good fluent action, doesn't he? Maybe the ground conditions have helped him as well. It might have just been a little bit too slow for him in the crib, and, and obviously that was a tough, tough task as well, first time out. So he's certainly built on his debut promise today to produce a pretty electric performance, to be honest. He's scooted um, right yeah. away, hasn't he? Here we go. Um, the other's under pressure. And it's it, 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 you know, Jim Crowley's chosen not to ride him today, which is, you know, I don't know whether it was expected or otherwise, to be honest. It, it, sometimes you can make too much of these things, but I assume Jim will have had the choice of what he wanted to ride and has picked Cap that, but... And he's thinking curses now, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Mustafshi disappears into the sunset yeah. and Kathab shifts, shifts to his right into Ziriab and is nutted for second. Yeah. Two nice runs from the second and third, really. They'll be winning winning plenty of races, I'm sure. Mm. Probably not quite as um, as good, well, definitely not as good as Mustafshi anywhere near at this stage of their careers, but still with a little bit more to learn, I think, in, in both instances. 
I'm just looking at Master Chartwell. Now, it might be that he holds his head like that, or it could be that he's backing off the ground here in his debut. He completely fluffed the start. He, not without promise, though, that, that debut for Ed Bethel on the, no, the, the right. No, there's, there's promise there and uh, ability from everything in the field, mm. really. Big Bad Wolf needs to learn to settle if he's to finish off his races better, but he's obviously got ability. But the future looks bright for this three-year-old colt by Dark Angel. He's got a lot of pace. I mean... I don't think I don't think he'd want to go any further than a mile. No. Um, I was you like, could even probably the drop other him way back. Around. Exactly. I know he's got the St James's Palace. I wonder if they might think about the Commonwealth Cup. Well, Jersey. I was going to say Jersey. No, the Jersey would be better. Yeah, right, Jersey is the, better. You know, a more suitable race. Not not as tough to win, obviously. Smaller stepping stone and looks like a horse with the pace to be able to cope with a race like interesting that. Interesting idea. That's an interesting idea. But as I was watching him, I was thinking, surely a mile max. So yeah, if I anything, think so. Maybe. He's quick. He is quick, like a lot of you know dark angels. It's fairly typical, and he looks cut from that cloth anyway, doesn't he? But obviously, no problem with a mile. But I think he wouldn't. He wouldn't have trouble dropping back in good company anyway. And it might just be that there's more suitable opportunities for him potentially. And he's very relaxed, and, mm. and it looks like he does well for himself as well. I think. I think he's got you know the world sorted at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming into the winner's enclosure, initiating a 1-2 for John and Fady Gosson. A double here for William Buick. Mustache still in, entered in the St. James's Palace Stakes. It'll be fascinating to find out what they plan for him next. Yes, an 8-1 to one with Coral for the St. James's Palace Stakes and Mustache Will that be where they go? Will they look at coming back in trip? Those are the questions we'll hopefully find out the answer to, maybe not today, but soon enough, maybe today. I think the other um, thing to point out, there's just been a few horses from the yard. The likes of Soul Sister, the likes of Honiton earlier who, who won, the likes of Mustabshire, who, when the yard were having a bit of a quiet time, they ran really poorly on their, on their reappearances and have come out, I know this is a drop in grade, but put that well behind them. There might just be something in that. There was a period at the end of April where... A lot of the horses from the yard, they were just putting in some, some mm. disappointing runs. Some of them real blowout efforts, but this horse, I was really taken with that. Well, you had to be. You couldn't fail to be impressed. I mean, they, the other five went past the line together, so we don't really know what, um, what he's beaten. The two wood didn't horses finished more or less um, the way they did in the, uh, in the new market race. Uh, but you, you, you couldn't not be impressed. Um, Cathab moved up, but he's got a slightly um, green head carriage when he's been asked to um, do things much more pur purposeful. The horse that's already got a win behind him, just looking under his arms. There, William Buick, he knows he's done enough now, confirming he's done enough. And um, yeah, I, I, um, I don't know whether he thought he was going to win so easily. But you'd have to think he'd be um, considered for races like the St James's Palace. But um, he's, he's, had the th he's had three runs. I think it depends on a couple of things. What do the owners have in there and what do John and Thady Gosden have in there? Well, Slip of the Pen was disappointing. Whether or not he goes there, I don't know. They've got the theory of everything in there as 